Sheldon, Jennifer and Quentin are here, yes. and it is, I cannot believe it has been a year. It is time for our Hispanic Heritage Awards and, and honorees and luncheon, and this is big. I mean, this is big in our community. Do you think it's gotten bigger? I think. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I think it's just been a huge success, and the support of the community has, you know, got us to where we are today, and, you know, I think... Honestly, I think Hispanic Heritage Month is just a, a holiday, it's a staple now in Amarillo. Everybody celebrates it. It's just like Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving right, right. there. That's right. So coming up, tell us where the luncheon is this year. And I know that tickets still available and that's something that we want people to come and join. We want everyone to be included. Absolutely, yeah. So the date of the event is going to be Thursday, October 12th. It's coming up right around the corner. Um, next week. Uh, yeah, yes, next it week. is. Next yes. Thursday, yes. yeah. Yes. 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 The Amarillo Civic Center Grand Plaza. Uh, we have tables of eight available for $400 or individual tickets available for $50. But we want to see the entire community out there. And I'll tell you, last year we had a packed house, 400, I think, 50 people. Wow. Some of them showed day of, so we want you to get your tickets now. <laughs> like, yeah, that on, way we know you, we have a spot though. for you yeah. when you show up that day. Because right. if you show up that day, I mean, you might have to sit on my lap because <laughs> there might not be another chair. Yeah. <laughs> so where do people need to go to get these tickets? Can they get them online? Do they need to call someone? What do they need to do to make sure they have those spots safe? That's the great thing. You go to Los Barrios' uh, website, Los Barrios de Amadillo's website. You can go to the Barrio Neighborhood Planning Committee's website. I believe the Hispanic Chamber's website. We're all over, so if you just go on the internet, just type in Hispanic Heritage Lunch or Luncheon, you should be able to find a ticket. So it's really simple. Um, do we have a speaker this year? Is it someone? I know that y'all always have something really inspirational and really uh, fun to listen to. Absolutely. Our speaker, we're very excited. It's going to be Rigo Zapata. Uh, he works for AMB. He's an amazing figure within our community. He's very helpful for the Hispanic community in general and we're very excited to have him out there because he's so well known and he does so much that we need to recognize him and we're excited to hear what he has to say. His, his, story. his story is really what Hispanic Heritage Month is about. Someone coming from somewhere else from a Hispanic culture and really setting themselves up in Amarillo. So it's really what, what it's about. I love that it's home, home people. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I think that we have the best stories. I think people in this community and and getting in and, and having that inspiration is, is oh, worth yeah. so much. Yes. Like, can you tell us a little bit too about like maybe somebody's you know listening to this right now they haven't really you know they haven't come to this event in the past they're just hearing about it for the first time. Why is this so important to the community? I mean, what do these people who maybe are just now starting to gain interest in this event? What do they need to know about the importance of this event for the community? I think it's great for everybody in Amarillo to kind of embrace each other's cultures. We have a high refugee population. We have a high Hispanic population, and so it's just great for people to try the foods and and go out and do the events and hang out in the neighborhoods and all that. We have a great. Uh, the Vario neighborhood itself is so vibrant and colorful and so much great stuff going on. It's great to see people enjoy it and uh, kind of embrace different cultures. Our Barrio neighborhood is coming along. Um, I see the murals. I see uh, the, our neighborhood committee getting out there and, and making uh, plazas and parks. And I mean, this, this is what we love. I mean, it's 2023. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And we're Texas. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes, yeah. like Grace exactly. said, it's a huge Hispanic population. And, you know, we're outside of the barrio as well. You know, there's the boulevard, you know, uh, which is the place to go, you know. So we just, I think we think it's important to highlight the Hispanic culture and how far we've all come. And just I give credit to Taco Amarillo. Tuesday, honestly. Since Taco <laughs> Tuesday came out, everybody's <laughs> like, dude, I'm into it. Let's go. <laughs> I love that. That's Quentin. a great so thing. Funny. Um, well, tell me again, uh, in the past, um, it's at Wesley Community Center. Are we still there? Are we? We're going to be at the Civic Center, at the thank Grand you. Plaza. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. And that has been years ago. So oh, yeah. Thank you for saying it is at the Amarillo Civic Center. Yes, ma'am. Well, get tickets because this is this is something that you'll want to hear. That you'll want to have fun. Great food and the awards. Do we know any? We don't know who's won them yet. A committee. We can't say. We we're part of the planning committee, but we're not part of the judging committee. So yeah. the the judges are unbiased. They don't know anything about anything until they see the actual nominees. And so it's Hispanic Male of the Year, Hispanic Female of the Year, Heart of the Barrio, and a community or a business of the Barrio. And Ooh. Rising Star. And Rising, rising Star. Star. So too. a young person could, if, even if they're oh. in high school, they can win an award. Wow. Yeah. That is Very so cool. good. But yeah, okay. we don't know anything about the judging thing, so. Okay. There we go. Well, that's going to be a great surprise, and we'll cover that as, as soon as that comes out. Awesome. People know. Again, tell us how to get tickets. I know there's several ways, but we're saying we're a week out, more than a week out, please. Since Jennifer's that. here, go to the Emerald Cha the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce website, 
go on there, find your tickets, and yes. uh, four hundred dollars for eight for a table of eight or individuals for fifty dollars. Please get them now before the day of, because the day of, <laughs> like I said, if you have to sit on my lap, I'll let you, but uh, I we'll might charge. something work, but we'd I'll, rather you be, you know, have them ahead of time. There you go. <laughs> I'm so glad. Quentin and Jennifer, thanks for coming. Thank you really, so much for having always. us. Y'all have a lot going on, so come back and tell us more things, because y'all really are involved in a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Always. We love it.